Hello and welcome back to the Cognitive Whiteboard, where I practice my art skills and uh, try to share some of my experiences in applying subsurface best practices to oil field decision making. My name is Luke and today I'd like to talk about the differences between stochastic and scenario based uncertainty methods. And in doing so, we will try to uh, discover the reasons why some of the industry's leading oil companies prefer to use the latter when it comes to characterising the economic risk associated with developing their assets. But before we do so, let's quickly revisit the difference between precision and accuracy because it's relevant to this particular discussion. Precision is the measure of variance around an estimate. Uh, it's essentially the size of the cluster on the dartboard. How repeatable is that effort? It's a random effect, um, things that you can't necessarily avoid. Accuracy, on the other hand, is referring to the systematic uh, relationship between your estimate and the actual answer, the average of that answer around it, uh, around the target. Now, so in the oil field, then, we know that precisely accurate is, is usually un uh, unattainable, but we also know that precisely wrong is where we really get into trouble, at least economic train wrecks because we're too um, confident. So approximately accurate is the, sp is the space that we usually want to be, and from there we can make some pretty robust business decisions. So when it comes to managing uncertainty in geomodeling, which is the one that we're tending to focus on? Are we on the precision axis or the accuracy axis? Well, we often are using stochastic methods, and stochastic theory was developed to address the random errors. So in geomodeling, programmatically, very easy to implement, we can control things like channel sinuosity or channel dimensions in, say, object-based modeling um, very, very simply with a, with a matrix of uncertainties that works very well for a, um, for a system of, of, uh, of a program. And, and if we're doing that, are we addressing precision or accuracy? In many ways, we're really focusing in on uh, precision here, and changes to these parameters will probably only affect the things like fluid velocity to a large degree and not necessarily the fundamental connectivity underneath your model. So we're exploring that precision, but we need more ability to explore now the accuracy of the economic impact of assumptions that have gone behind that reservoir model. Was our reservoir deposited in the inner fan, the mid fan, the out fan, and what impact would that have on channel sand connectivity? Stochastic methods aren't particularly powerful at changing these kinds of depositional environments. To investigate these high level assumptions, we need to take control of that and use scenario based methods and carry those through into simulation. We need to see the economic impact of different connectivities between injector and producer pairs. So if we were to liken a simulation model to this chaotic plumbing diagram through here, if we just change pipe diameter or adjust the flow rate, we're not really going to determine um, any different of, it, of an answer because the, the faucets are fundamentally plumbed together in the same way. What we really want to do is understand how much of those assumptions are controlling your field economics. And so whilst those scenario methods will help you investigate, investigate the precision of this story, what we need to be able to do is adjust that plumbing to explore the scenarios and test whether the pattern that you are using to develop your field is robust or not, and allow you to design something that will help avoid any train wrecks. So in our context we believe that the scenario based methods are very very powerful tools for managing uncertainty and something that you might want to carry forward uh, in your own workflows. My name is Luke and thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video.